sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So Leo, for the present time, Nine of Pentacles and King of Wands. Now with the Nine of Pentacles, it's one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards to get in a reading. It means that your financial worries are over for a while and that things overall, they'll be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. Now it's paired with the King of Wands, which indicates a man. He could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. This person, they'll want to serve as a mentor for you. It's a very positive card in the tarot. Even when it's not representing an actual person in your life, it signifies that men around you, they're generally supportive and think really well of you. And you also should be feeling really ambitious and goal-oriented. And you're going to have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. So it's important to stay positive. Now, basically with these two cards paired together for your present time, with the Nine of Pentacles, you should start to enjoy life more. Any worries that you had, they should be leaving. And you'll have a lot of support from someone with this King of Wands here. Someone who really thinks well of you. Could be more than one person. So we'll move on over and take a look at how the person you're dealing with, how they see you. Now they see you like Six of Cups and High Priestess. Six of Cups... Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be, it can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time thinking that the good old days, or thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So this is one of the ways your person sees you. They see you. There's familiarity there. Happy memories with the Six of Cups. Very happy. Happy memories. Um, but they also see you as possibly needing to refocus this connection towards the future. Now, it's clarified by the High Priestess. The High Priestess is, can be a spiritual card. It can have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied, it's tied to the moon, to femininity and inspiration. It's a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important that you pay attention to your dreams now. If you, keep a, if you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. So they also see you as yeah, they see you as very they could be seeing you as mysterious with the high priestess here. Um, they see you as possibly pulling your energy back because the High priests, they, that's what they do. They pull their energy back and they sit pretty. They sit real pretty. They see you as, or they could see you just as being, they could see you as being uh, attracted to them, having a lot of attraction to them. And they see you as having happy memories with them. Um. Yeah, I don't know if this is a past person because this Six of Cups, it also means that um, it could be a reappearance of a long-lost love. And we'll clarify these two cards more because that's kind of vague, I know, when we recap the reading. So for now... 
let's put these two to the side and we'll come back to them and we'll take a look at how you see your person now you see them as the four of swords and the two of wands now the four of swords it's showing in this picture see this man he's out he's on his back he's just out for the count he's in the cold snow looks like he could be in the mountains and these wolves or dogs they're surrounding him and they don't know is, is that from, for them? Is that their meal or what? But this man, he's out. It's showing a need for a break. It could be from normal life. We all kind of need a break from this crazy virus that's going on. Just to, just to hear the word is make, makes a lot of people tired. So, could be a break that you need. This can mean that you are someone in your life. They may withdraw for a time. This would this withdrawal, just keep in mind, it's not permanent. Okay, it could mean it could mean illness or time in the hospital or, well, with the Four of Swords, it's showing it could mean time in jail. Those are all examples. Okay, doesn't mean that it's that's what it is. Those are examples of withdrawal, but coming back. So it's a clear sign to give people their space, and you're probably in need of some space for yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when people say no to you, make sure you take them at their word. Because if you try to push in this circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So, you see them as needing some type of rest after struggle. Now, it's clarified with the Two of Wands, which is... It's about keeping your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. This two of wands, it's about a partnership with another person. It could be business, personal, or both. But it's about reminding you to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If you're feeling out of balance for now, just know they're about to get substantially better. So keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for and stay positive. So you see them as the two of wands also. They could be planning to make this connection more equal or they could have two paths towards a future, two options. So it could go a couple of different ways with this two of wands. Now, basically, like I said, you see them as the Four of Swords and the Two of Wands. They're trying to figure out, they got two paths here. You see the Two Wands. They got two, maybe two options, two choices towards the future. Um, like I said, I know I, I think I'm repeating myself, but they probably are trying to decide on a future with you to make it more equal to make a future with you more equal more balanced because like I said the two of wands is about bringing balance and things getting better so they could be just trying to figure out how to do it you know which one to take to make the connection more better or to make the connection better <laughs> And, uh, but right now they, they need a break. Yeah, you see them needing a break. They won't be planning, not quite just yet. Yeah, there's some type of struggle going on here. So it's about solitude and recovery, and that's how you see them. And why it's happening, it's because of... Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles is about messages. It could be regards to money, finance. You're likely receiving some type of news that you've been waiting on, and it's good news. It's a This card, Knight of Pentacles, is a practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the normal, mundane parts of your life. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, the Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. And it's a very grounding influence. 
So why it's happening, one of the reasons Knight of Pentacles, uh, someone's coming in with this Knight of Pentacles, eh? Someone want to reach out to you, maybe? It's some type of news coming in. Really good news. And it's from someone that's really stable, civil. So it's something that you want to hear. Someone wants to reach out. Ooh, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now, this is another one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. It can point to happiness in, in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a good card to get into reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. It speaks of happy life, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Also, being spiritually fulfilled is a part of this picture. Great card to get in a reading, Ten of Cups. It's not short of any cups. It's got all ten there. Ten is the tops. So, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. This connection for you or your person is a dream come true. Something that they always wanted. So... It's with the Knight of Pentacles. Mm. You or your person, are you trying to make it more stable, more civil? By bringing in more good, by bringing in more good to this connection? Because that's what the Knight of Pentacles does. But let's clarify, or well, let's recap the whole reading so that we'll get a complete picture. So basically... We got this Nine of Pentacles for the present time and King of Wands, which are two great cards. Great cards in the re in the for this reading. Nine of Pentacles. Any worries that you have, they're over for a while. The relationship or connection moves to new heights of intimacy and joy. And with the King of Wands, your person is wants to support you. In a lot of ways and they think very highly of you and they see you as um, could be someone they are very familiar with or they see you feeling that way with them uh, this could be a past person or someone from a past life or they could just see you as being so comfortable with you them it feels like there's someone that you knew it from a past life before. And it also, it also speaks about a past person. So is this a past person for you, Leo? And they see you as really attractive. They see you as, or they could see you as being attracted, very attracted to them. It can go either way with, with this card, with these two cards here. So they see you as being really drawn to them, or are they to you with the High Priestess here? Could be a lot of sexual chemistry with the High Priestess. And that's how they see you. And like I said, you see them as they, they got some anxiety. They worried about something. They're worried about which direction to take this connection because it's with the Two of Wands. They're trying to figure out which which way to take this towards the future because there could be two, two directions to go, two different paths with this Two of Wands. So they could be planning to make this connection more balance and they know they see you see them as having some anxiety about it yeah because they probably have um, some choices to make to bring balance into this connection but they could just be having some anxiety about something something that caused some anxiety and why it's happening nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, th 
that's like they want to reach out to you or they want to come towards you very stable and civil. Yeah, very s s slow and steady. They, Knight of Pentacles is, is a great card in the reading. Yeah, somebody, it's about messages, this Knight of Pentacles. So they want to reach, a person wants to reach out to you. They got something to say, but they want to do it right. Because the Knight of Pentacles, they, they do things right. Yeah. So they want to do good by you. And with the Ten of Cups here, Ten of Cups is a dream come true. You or your person thinks that this connection is just, be, is just what you, what you've been looking for. Um. If it hasn't become formal or committed, and you hope that it comes to that, take heart. It's coming. With this Ten of Pentacles, it's it's going to happen. So don't sabotage things like causing problems where there really aren't any. With the Ten of Cups here, it, it's coming. Commitment, marriage, moving in together, childbirth, all that's a, a symbol of the Ten of Cups. Just happy overall. So this could be you or your person or the both of you that want, want this connection to be the end all, be all. And uh, basically, it's, it's nothing negative in this card, in this reading. <laughs> I mean, you got the Ten of Cups, you got the Nine of Pentacles for the present time. Both of those about things going really well. And then... <laughs> They see you as very attractive with the high priestess. They're very attracted to you, or they see you being attracted to them in a deep way. Um, and they see you as someone they're familiar with. They're very comfortable with you, or you, them. The ener energies can be interchangeable, so take it as either way fits. And the King of Wands is there. Uh, the King of Wands wants to support you and um, thinks very well of you. This is a beautiful reading. There's nothing, like I said, nothing negative here uh, except for the anxiety. And like I said, everybody in the world is probably experiencing some of that. Uh, but I'm picking up that you see them as having some stress and needing to take a break. Probably just from normal life. That's what I'm picking up. It's from normal life, not from this connection. Because the Two of Wands is there, and they're probably showing that it's showing that they want to bring more balance into this connection. And the Knight of Pentacles, they're coming in. They're coming in to do it. Yeah, they're coming in to make it, make this connection, or to keep it to keep it balanced and make it stable. They're coming in slow and steady. That's what the Knight of Pentacles does. And you and your person got the Ten of Cups. So it probably will move to the next level for a lot of you, Leos. Marriage, commitment. Everything is good with the Ten of Cups. So basically, this is a good reading. Um, I wish I could make it more exciting and have something crazy to say, but there is nothing, nothing in this reading that's crazy. <laughs> so enjoy it while it lasts. So Leo, I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Enjoyed this reading. Enjoyed this reading.